So this is what a guitar with round wound strings sounds like. And now this is what a guitar with flat wound strings sounds like. Now, believe it or not, flat wound strings are not just for jazz. I actually think it's one of the best bang for buck ways to change your guitar sound without having to swap pickups or do any kind of invasive work. Throwing on flats will completely change the sound of your guitar, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you what that sound is. Flat wound strings are synonymous with jazz guitar, thanks to the people that played them in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, like Wes Montgomery or Charlie Christian, but they were also used in early rock and roll by the Beatles. The Beatles used exclusively flat wound strings on all their guitars up until the mid 60s, so those early records that featured the casinos and uh, the Telecasters were all using flat wound strings. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Novo Ceres T, which is currently set up with a set of round wound strings, and I'm gonna swap them over to a set of flats. Before I swap the strings over though, this is what the Ceres T sounds like with rounds. Now the difference between rounds and flats is pretty substantial and it starts with the construction. Now both strings have a center core wire, but the difference is in the wrap. A round wound string is wrapped with a round wire. It's a smaller, thinner gauge of wire that is wrapped around the core. Now flats are also wrapped around the core, but they're wrapped like a ribbon. The difference also is in the core thickness. Flat wounds generally have a thicker core wire uh, than round wounds do for the same string gauge. What that means is they feel and sound completely different even among the same gauge. Now, if you've never played flats before, they're pretty interesting. They're really slick. You don't have any of the string noise that you get from rounds on the wound strings. It basically feels like your unwound strings, your E and B, all the way up the neck, essentially. It's actually really nice to play. It's super comfortable and they last way, way longer than rounds do. Because they're flat, they don't hold as much uh, oil and grit and dirt from your hands as round wounds, so they don't corrode nearly as fast. In fact, I've got a set of flats over on my Mule Electric that are original to the guitar, and I've had that guitar for about two and a half, three years now, and they still sound great. Now, because of that construction, the thicker core wire and the flat ribbon outer wrap, we have a very, very different sound.
To my ear, sitting in the room next to the amp, there's much more low end. Part of that is because we went up a string gauge to 11s instead of 10s, but that's also due to the flat wound string and that thicker core wire. It's producing more low end than the thinner round wound string. But to me, the bigger change is actually in the mid range. The, the mid range of the guitar has now shifted and it's become like more woody sounding, especially on the neck pickup. If you pick closer to the bridge, you get this mid rangey, warm, woody sound. <laughs> but it's still bright. You don't get this really sort of muddy rolled off top end kind of thing that a lot of people think are consistent with flats. There's still brilliance and there's still top end, but it's not as abrasive as a round wound string can be, especially on the bridge pickup. <laughs> I think because of the shift in mid-range and that interesting sort of top-end characteristic, they work really, really well with effects. Or we go more like a, like an ethereal thing. It's just a completely different sound than your typical round wound string. Now, there are a few differences, drawbacks, depending on how you play. Uh, because of the thicker core wire, the string tension is higher than your typical uh, equivalent gauge round wound strings. That does mean that if you throw these on a guitar, you may have to do some minor setups and also things like bending are way more difficult on flats than they are with rounds. Now, I don't really see that as a bad thing though, because to me, this is a really cool way of breaking out of ruts in your playing. For 10 to 20 bucks, depending on what strings you get, you can completely change the character and feel and sound of your guitar. It will inspire you to play new ideas. Uh, it will inspire new sounds, maybe new songs. And you don't really have to do a whole lot, just change your strings. So that's why I think more people need to start playing flat wound strings. If you wanna support the channel, check out the Inner Circle subscription. For an annual subscription fee, you'll get access to all of my video courses, past, present, and future. Uh, and we're producing new courses every single month here on the channel. So you can find out more information about that and my other video courses in the description box down below. I'll also have some affiliate links down there to the strings that I put on my guitar today. This was not sponsored by anyone. Uh, I went and bought the strings from my local guitar shop, but I will put some of my favorite options down in the description box. Those are affiliate links, so that means if you buy something through that, it helps me out and helps me to keep running this channel, and I thank you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Rhett Scholl, and I will catch you on the next one.